What's up guys, Matt here from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. In today's video, I want to cover the best method for cleaning carburetors. Alright guys, this video is going to be quick because I am freezing out here. It's been single digits all week. This garage is frozen. Um, the heater's blasting. Um, temperature's creeping up, but the concrete's cold. The wall is cold. I'm cold. So anyway, um, I clean a lot of carburetors. And it can be very time consuming if you want to get them looking brand new on the outside and on the inside. And if, if you're working on a bike that's very old and the gas was left in the tank and it's all varnished up or uh, rust deposits make it into uh, the carburetor, that stuff is very difficult to clean with a can of carb cleaner or um, you know if you're hitting it with Scotch-Brite or whatever just to clean that nasty residue off. I mean you can waste hours doing that and honestly it just won't look brand new. So you can see here this carb was nasty and I got it looking brand new and the way I do it is I use baking soda or just soda media to blast them and then I have this uh, ultrasonic cleaner with a special solution and I throw it in there afterwards and they look brand new coming out of there. So let's go over to the workbench. I'll show you um, the carburetors that I'm working on and um, I'll show you the method. Now um, I'm also going to link to a bunch of videos that I've done in the past on different carburetor cleaning methods so go ahead and check those out. There's some very inexpensive ones and then also what I'm going to show you is a little more expensive but in any case, it'll give you an idea of what to expect with each cleaning method. All right, so I got some more fan mail. This is from Carl from Minnesota. Let's see what it is. Some knee guards. All right. Dude, these are like brand new. And these are way better than the ones I have, so hopefully, uh, let's see here. Yep. They'll fit me. Awesome, dude. Thanks a lot, man. Let's see what else we got here. some uh, riding boots awesome pink my daughter's gonna love these what size are these size seven. Oh man these are, these are nice all right Carl thanks so much man yeah thank you very much this is awesome hey Carl they fit perfectly all right so here are some CB 550 carburetors I'm cleaning up for a guy by the name of Jeremy in Rhode Island who uh, sent in these carbs for uh, carb clean and video service. So uh, basically let's get a closer look at these. You can see that they're pretty nasty. Greasy, varnished up, and it looks like he's got a little bit of rust in his tank because you can see all that orange stuff. So here's why you have to take them apart. I mean, there's nothing you can put in your gas tank that is going to clean this up. I mean, obviously these carbs are pretty dirty, um, but it goes to show you that there's a lot of little components that there's just no way anything's going to clean it up if you just dump something in the tank. Also, in between the carbs, there's these fuel T-joints and there's o-rings on it and usually you know when you pull the carbs apart it's a good idea to replace these I mean these are brittle as hell 
and uh, over time they start to leak and whatnot. Also, uh, the float valves and the needle and seats, I mean, they, they're, these are wear items, so sometimes you have to take the carb apart, and these just need to be replaced after some time. So, here it is, all in pieces, and now they are fully stripped, and what we'll do is, let's just go ahead and soda blast, you know, a couple of these components. I'll get a close-up look of this, and then that way we'll, uh, we'll hit it with some soda and see what happens. All right, so here's one carb we're gonna blast. You can see in here, it's just freaking nasty. And we have a lot of grease and whatnot on the outside. Um, and what I typically do is I hit this with solvent to get all the grease off, or at least to knock some of it loose. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to soda and see how well that works. Um, but these are, you know, pretty dirty. So we'll see how we can clean them up. Let me get a close up in here. So you can see right in here, really dirty. So the soda will clean that up like nothing. Next up, this is a carb cap, and you can see there's some gasket material left over. Now I can work at this with a razor and get it all off, but man, soda removes gasket material, it removes silicone, it just eats that away. So that is awesome because getting all this little stuff off is a pain in the ass. And and the soda will just take care of that for us. And here's a shot of this plate. We'll go ahead and blast this and see how well it comes out. Obviously, it's not going to take care of the rust, um, but it will clean this metal up pretty nice. All right, guys, so here's my soda blaster. Uh, it's nothing more than a Harbor Freight cabinet that I bought used for 100 bucks, and simply dumped baking soda in it. The first thing I wanted to see if... Um, if it would work is I just went to the grocery store and I bought five one pound boxes, total investment of under five bucks, dumped the soda in here and started blasting. And that was just to see if you can use soda in this cabinet and it works perfectly fine. Now I know people say soda is not reclaimable, meaning it has a one time use when you blast it. And that's true it does break down over time. However, since we're using it as a gentle cleaner for carburetors, it works perfectly fine for a long period of time. I can blast with a whole 40 pound bag of soda for five to 10 hours or whatever, and I only have to change it out about twice a year uh, with some light weekend warrior use. It's not that I'm out here blasting every day. So um, after the grocery store Arm & Hammer baking soda worked, I went to Harbor Freight and got the Armex brand uh, baking soda which is designed for blasting. And you can get the medium and the large crystals. And I really don't know which one I prefer. I think I'm leaning towards the large because what you can do is start off by blasting at a lower pressure and as it breaks down you can bump the pressure back up and that way you get a little more use out of the material or the media. Now I blast at 80 psi and it just seems to do the trick. So the benefits of soda is that it does not remove metal, it does not frost plastic, doesn't damage rubber, I mean, you can throw anything in here and blast it and it just won't damage it. It just freaking cleans it really well. Also, the big thing is soda will rinse in water. It'll dissolve in water. So when you got stuff like a carburetor with very fine passages or small passages, uh, you simply rinse it in water and it's gone. It doesn't affect, it, it won't be stranded in there or embedded in the material like glass media or sand or whatever. So. Um, that's a huge benefit. Now, speaking of rinsing, after, after you're done blasting, what I do is I blow dry it as best as possible, rinse it in water, and then I stick it in my ultrasonic cleaner, which removes all soda. There'll be no trace of it whatsoever. And it's important because um, very fine or small passages will get plugged up. 
blind holes, threaded holes, will get plugged up with, with soda and you do have to you know, rinse it several times to get it out. For example, like accelerator pump passages, like on the FCR carburetor, it will get plugged up in this. So you have to throw it in the um, ultrasonic tank or rinse it very, very well. Now I have a bunch of modifications to this cabinet, um, but that's not due to the soda media. It's pretty much anything you wanna use this cabinet for, you should do those modifications. And I got a, about 10 or so. And you know what, I'll save that for another video. Um, but basically, nothing special to run the soda in here. So this was about 100 bucks. Put another 100 bucks into it for modifications. My um, ultrasonic tank down there is about 100 bucks. So this is about a $300 setup to clean carburetors, clean aluminum parts. It does an excellent job for power valves, uh, cylinder heads with carbon and just prepping stuff prior to engine assembly. I mean, it just does a great job of uh, cleaning stuff. So let's go ahead and load the parts and let's start blasting. Okay, so we'll start with these parts for, uh, for starters. And here it is, this is just the soda, the white stuff. And I will tell you that this soda media is well used already, and in fact, I probably should replace it, but you know what? That means it's just gonna take a little longer, that's all. so here's an after this is just after soda blast and a little bit of uh, hitting it with the air gun just to blow off all the soda there's still some remnants in here I didn't rinse it or anything I'm just gonna toss this right into the ultrasonic tank but you can see it's a huge difference
especially in here. See, look at that, it looks brand new. Here's the carb top. Again, it's clean, it removed all that gasket material. And here is that plate, you can see it's nice and clean. This is nice and shiny now. Looks a lot better. And no grit to deal with. All it is is soda, it rinses in water. And here's a float bowl. Soda blast, non-soda blast. Not too much difference on the outside, just a little bit here, but man, on the inside. And you know what, Carb Clean won't do much to this. You're gonna have to pick at it, scrub at it with Scotch-Brite or something. Soda gets everywhere very quickly. I blasted this for about 20 seconds or so and it's perfectly clean. I mean, it, the results are amazing. All right, so down here I have the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I put fresh water in it. I actually cleaned it out a little bit. Believe it or not, that is fresh water. Um, still a little bit of dirty in there. But uh, anyway, uh, fresh water, put that in about an hour or two ago, left the heater on, and this stuff is nice and hot. Um, heat is what really you know, takes care of all the dirt. And then what I dump in there is some of this stuff. It's the Sharper Tech 1220 carburetor cleaner degreaser. And this stuff works awesome. And it says here, just dilute four to eight ounces per gallon of water. This is about a gallon in here, so I dump anywhere four to eight ounces, depending on how or what I'm cleaning. I'm gonna put eight ounces in here. Go ahead and dump that right in. And that's it. By the way, this is a Sharper Tech unit I bought on eBay for about a hundred bucks. And um, I really wish I had a larger one, but you know what? Since you have to disassemble the carbs, everything fits in here. You just have to do it on several different, uh, you just have to do it several different times. All right, let's toss it in here now. We got one carburetor, one cap, one float bowl, and this plate probably won't fit in one shot, so we'll just uh, we'll just have to do it multiple times. No big deal. 10-15 minutes is all it takes, and it'll freaking look real nice. All right guys, so here's a close-up view after it's been soda blasted and dipped in the ultrasonic tank. Um, I got all four bodies done. There's a couple more parts in the ultrasonic tank, but you, you pretty much get the idea. I mean, it cleans it really well. I mean, there is, it's spotless. I mean, it's definitely not a restoration type process, but it just cleans it very well so you can assemble it and be certain that there's no junk in here or anything like that I mean you know I spent I don't know an hour or so blasting everything and my soda is completely spent <laughs> so I need to go to Harbor Freight and buy a 40 pound bag of of the soda and then I'll be back in business and also what happens is the soda gets sucked up by the vacuum you know so you're working with less and less soda as time goes on and and um, the pickup tube starves so you have to keep smacking it or get in there and move the soda around um, but yeah this is this is great man I mean it, you rinse it and you're all done Rinse it in water and or the ultrasonic tank and you are you are ready to go. Uh, now as far as these little components, uh, you can soda blast them too. I, you can use like a pen holder. I actually have a bunch of these baskets. I, I went to the dollar store um, and you just throw everything in there and you just blast it. Just make sure not to lose it because otherwise you're going to be sifting through 40 pounds of soda to find your little parts. Um, or you can poke whole a little a little hole in cardboard and just jam like 
this in the cardboard and get it to stay and then you can soda blast it to you know polish the surface a little bit well, that's it guys that's how i like to clean carburetors it's quick it's easy it's pretty much kind of budget friendly if you're doing this for a lot of parts all right that's it for this video make sure to hit that like button and share this with your riding buddies don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified right away when new videos come out if you'd like to support me in creating more videos such as this one check out my patreon page and see if you can help me out you can also buy me an ice cold beer or two by clicking on the link thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video